Well, tonight, Ada on Your Side investigates the law surrounding outdoor gun ranges in Florida. This after we got results for a group of seniors fed up with a noisy range right next door to their homes in Hudson. The county says they shut down that outdoor range for a zoning violation. But as Ada on Your Side investigative reporter Masa Saidi explains, that may not have been the case if the range was not tied directly to a business, right? That is true, Josh Stacy. The county can take action against a business, but they have no such power when you're talking about people shooting guns in their backyard. Still, do it wrong and you could go to jail. No matter your stance on gun laws, Gun safety is an issue on everyone's mind. If it ricochets, you're dead. Veteran Donald Griffin was part of a group who contacted Eight on Your Side about an outdoor range next door. It shouldn't be around a residential area. Turns out he was right. The county took swift action, saying the gun shop wasn't zoned to operate a range outside. With that problem solved, we kept digging into the law and realized something surprising. The county cannot regulate you shooting guns in your backyard the way they can a business. And they could get in big trouble if a local official tries to do that. They could. So when can you legally shoot on residential property? The answer can be found in this 353-word law. It states in part it's a misdemeanor to recreationally shoot outside, including target shooting, and an area that's primarily residential and has one or more dwelling units per acre. Sounds simple enough. If you've got neighbors and have one acre or less, no shooting. But wait, there's an exception. If the discharge does not pose a reasonably foreseeable risk to life, safety, or property. What is a reasonably foreseeable risk? So therein lies the problem. That is a jury question. Attorney um, Paul Fulmer, an expert in this field, true. says it's just too risky to shoot when you're on a smaller lot. You're literally putting the interpretation of that law into the hands first of the law enforcement officer that comes out, then to the prosecutor that finds out. But what if you still have the neighbors, but you're on a bigger plot of land, more than one acre? The limitation there is you can't shoot recklessly or negligently. Deputies will look at different factors when deciding if you're guilty. Then he's going to look at what type of weapon you're shooting. Is it a firearm that's a handheld weapon or something that's an assault rifle? Then he's going to look at where on the land and what you're doing. So, for example, if someone's shooting into a retention pond or a lake, no real problem there. So it's always a case-by-case -case situation. We did reach out to the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, and they said if you have neighbors and you're on a smaller plot of land, do not shoot outside. And as you brought up, Josh, they also said that it could be a noise issue as well. That's the first thing I was thinking of, yeah. how loud they can right. be. That would be a big right. problem. But how big is this problem, people operating in these ranges in their backyards? Are we talking a lot of people doing this? So I did read about it happening a lot down in southern Florida. We did reach out to the different counties in our area to get that information. For example, Polk County says just last month, in April. They had nearly 100 reporting gunfire, but we still need to go through each of those calls to see if the gunfire was one confirmed and if it was coming from a neighbor. Mm. So we it's need to hard to track yeah. down yeah. for sure. Yeah. Thanks, Masa. Great job. Thanks. And if you have a problem that you would like Masa to investigate, call our eight on your side helpline at 1 800 338 0808.